What's up my friends? Today I'm gonna show you how you can add particles uh, to your 3 scene. Yes, some smoke particles, fire particles. It's gonna be very fast and easy. So let me create new project for you. We're gonna use this cube. Select the cube as and move the mouse to make it bigger. Now, go on this icon on the particle system and click this plus. On the lifetime, you wanna decrease this maybe to 250 and on the velocity open velocity and tab right here zero now uh, you want to open uh, right here is this gravity option and turn the gravity down if i'm gonna click spacebar particles just stay in right here on the cube now i don't want to show uh, see the emitter so on the viewport display open viewport display disable show emitter yes and particles just get in attached to those faces, but we can add some force field, yes, right here, if you wanna. Or there's another way you can play around on the minus right here on the velocity and on the roundness. I'm gonna show you those two options. So on the force field, shift A, I'm gonna choose force. And you wanna go on this icon and tap right here, minus, don't tap bigger value, okay? Minus maybe 0 0.3. And those particles getting closer to this uh, force it's a little bit too much so i'm gonna just uh, decrease this something like minus 0 0.1 maybe it's gonna be good it depends how big your cube is but as you can see particles are moving and you can add whatever object you want yes maybe smoke fire yes and of course you can add this cube to your 3d scene and it's important if you want to render this go on this icon and open renders and Disable show emitter. Okay, you're just gonna see the particles uh, flying, flying around on your 3D scene. Okay, zero mistakes. You get the idea, guys. So now we can add some object. Shift A. On the mesh, I'm gonna add maybe sphere and G, Y. I'm gonna move this right here. And I'm gonna maybe select some fire. You can add some smoke, uh, guys. Right here, I got Blender Kit. I'm gonna add maybe some fire material to the sphere. I'm gonna select my box and on the render, of course, change this to object. Select the sphere. Add whatever object you want. You can play around on the scale. Look at this. Oh my god, so much big, small. <laughs> you can adjust it. This is, of course, the scale. If I'm gonna click space bar, I got this stupid stuff. Yes. I can go on the render view. This looks a little bit like shit. You can play around on the scale roundness. And of course, this material sucks. But you can add different material if you want. You got my permission, okay, guys, to add your material to your 3D scene. But I hope you get it how this works. As you can see, force field just bring uh, those particles closer, yes, to each other and to this force field. Fuck. I don't want to record this one more time. You get it, the idea. I'm going to show you another way how you can do this, okay? I'm going to select my force field, X and blade. And particles just going to stay in the cube. You select the box and on the velocity, you got the directions. I can tap minus maybe on the X direction, I don't know, minus 0 0.5. And on the Y direction, minus 0 0.6. And the particles are moving around a little bit too. So this is another option. Just play around right here on the minus options and the particles just, as you can see, play around. This fire, by the way, looks like shit. So I'm gonna add maybe smoke. Why not? Give me some smoke. Smoke material. So this is the tutorial, guys. It's very simple, I know. Maybe you are a beginner. You don't know about this stuff. Just add material to your sphere. It's important to add good material because whatever light you're gonna use in your scene okay if you want to have some particles in your scene just add good material to be seen basically yes you can add some glow or right here you can see those little kind of smoke or whatever yes as you can see they are a little bit moving and disappearing so that's kind of cool yes those little smokes if you want to have this in your stupid uh, scene. Now I don't see fucking anything. But whatever, guys. As you can see, you can see something. Add good material, guys. This is the most important stuff on this. I can add some clouds. It's gonna look like shit. It's important on the lighting, too. If I'm gonna turn this down, as you can see, I got different fucking 
particles effect is. So it's important to add good lighting, adjust the lighting and the material when you're going to do this. And you're going to add, of course, particles to your 3D scene. And like I said, disable on the render view right here the emitter and just rescale it. And you got particles in your 3D scene, yes? If you want to use the force field or use the minus option. And you can add randomness a little bit. Don't crop this up because if I'm going to just crop this up, the particles going to flow uh, from the cube. Look at that. Oh, it's not showing me. I hope you can see. The particles are moving from. It's not good. If you want to keep it inside on the roundness right here on the velocity, tap this to 0 0.01 or something. It's going to have a little bit effect on the roundness. And the particles a little bit flow flying away, but they are moving more random inside. Thank you for watching, guys. Add good material and good lighting in this one. Simple shit, I know. I need content on my channel. Maybe some beginner watch this stuff. Subscribe if you like this content. Bye, guys.